This is a question on secondary mathematics involving prime numbers. Let us begin. Find the least value of k such that the cube root of 540 times k is an integer. Now, this means that 540 times k must be a perfect cube. Okay? This number itself must be a perfect cube. And how do I investigate this particular number, the first thing we need to do is to express 540 in its prime index notation. Okay, so we divide this by 2 and let us see 540 by 2 is actually 270. You can further divide this by 2 as well, 135. You cannot divide this by 2 anymore, so you can try dividing by the next prime number, which is 3. Oh, that is possible. So you have 45, again you can divide this by 3, you will get 15, again you divide this by 3, you get 5, and you divide by 5, it's a 1 at the end. So 540 is basically 2 to the power of 1, 2, times 3 to the power of 1, 2, 3, times 5 just to the power of 1. Now how do we check our prime index notation we press all of these numbers again in the calculator zzz, and see whether it's already equals to 540 in this case ta -da, we are good to go okay now to make sure that you have a perfect cube all right all the powers must be multiples of three right so at the moment this is already a multiple of three as a power uh, this is not, I put across 10 8. This is also not 10 8. Okay, so these two numbers, 2 and 1, you've got to push it up, push it up to the next multiple of 3. Alright, so what that means is that this number got to go up to 2 cube. This one has to go up to 5 cube. Alright, why do I push the numbers up? Why do I push the powers up? Because I am doing a multiplication. 540 times k. And k is an integer. Alright, so which means that when you are multiplying, the powers must increase. It is different from when you are dividing. Let's say you are doing this. This is when your power must decrease. Okay, so in this case, how do I move from 2 square to 2 cube? Or I move from 2 squared to 2 cube, we have to times by another 2, right? From 5 to the power 1 to 5 cube, we have to times by another 5 squared. So all in all, you need to times by 2 and another 5 squared. So that is essentially our value of k. Therefore, k is just 2 times 5 squared. 2 times 25, which will give us a final k value of 50. This is the answer for this question.